friends, it's December 15th and I am here to, did I say 15th? It's the 17th. <laughs> and I am here to open some Advents. It is quarter to 5 p.m. I slept pretty late today, um, but it was like a broken up sleep. I woke up for like three hours and then I finally fell back asleep for about two to three more. Um, so I'm still pretty tired. I also maybe pushed it a little bit and did some like on my hands and knees cleaning. Um, I was cleaning up some of the dog paper debris that they spread throughout the house. And, um, yeah, I maybe went a little too hard too soon, but it's okay. I took a shower and I'm going to kind of just relax now for a little while. Um, so let's open some Advents, figure out what the tea is, maybe go make a cup of tea. And then I have pulled out my cross stitch Advents to try to work on catching up on those. So, um, let's do the candle first. Day number 17 is called Brandied Pears. Mm, I can smell that there's like a brandy smell in there, but then there's also like a sweet smell. It's okay, but I think I'm actually going to do the previous days. I'll decide which one later. The tea, day number 17, is Vista Blend Herbal. Honey bush, apricot, Oregon lavender, apple pieces, sunflower petals, and natural apricot essence. Sounds interesting. I will make a cup of that. Okay, so day number 17 of Twice Sheared Sheep. And we have oops, two snag free stitch markers. And again, she uses the very big stitch marker, but we've got it, oh, it looks like a little polar bear and perhaps a little seal. But to me, it also kind of looks like a ghost. Very cute. <clears throat> um, day number 17 of Adornets. Chilling with my Snowmies. Okay, we've got a white chocolate Reese's tree. I do love me some Reese's. Prefer the regular over white chocolate, but it's all good. <laughs> and then the, the progress keeper is literally chilling with my snowmies. Very cute. And then there's a tiny little stitch marker that's got a snowman on it. Super cute. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. My husband had come upstairs and he just is way too loud while I film. So, yeah. I also then went downstairs and I got some zero sugar uh, crayon grape. Is it as good as sugar crayon grape? No but it's drinkable. Um, okay. So let's do the yarn. Day 17 of Crystal Sky Hand Dyes, Harry Potter. Not my favorite, but that's okay. And it's the burrow and I can see that. <clears throat> so let me 
just write the number on it. And today I will be putting these away right <laughs> after. So that what happened yesterday does not repeat itself. Um, the other Harry Potter in today's is from Yarn Cafe Creation. It's called The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. And it's, I like it. It's very pretty. This is another one that would be pretty as a full skein. And so I will punch a hole in this and um, attach it. Oh, I also need to say that it's number 17. Anne of Green Gables. Oh, very pretty. Christmas tree at Green Gables. I'm not actually sure. Oh, Christmas tea. I thought it said tree. Christmas tea at Green Gables. I was going to say, there's no green on here, so I, I don't really see a tree, but I can see how that could be tea. It's a more delicate situation. Um, that's winter ideal. Is it going to be brown? Please don't be brown. It's brown, but there is some red in there today. So maybe we are going to finally fade out of brown. Although it went green at one point, so I got tricked before. And today's book is Lolita. Oh, what a pretty red. And I can see why this is with Lolita. I've never read the book, but I've heard the reference. <clears throat> and those are the yarns. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say. Um, I think I'm going to save some more of the planning stuff that I was going to share yesterday. I'm not, like, I'm tired today, so I'm going to save it more for another day. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think put on an audiobook and try to do some cross stitch and I will put in a montage of the progress and I think I'm gonna start with the nativity one. Um, that's, I think that's just where I want to head right now. So I will chat with you all later. Oh, I still have to edit yesterday's vlog. Um. I, th I think I'm going to put on the audiobook right now, though. I don't know. I might need a little tiny nap. But I don't want to, like, throw off my sleep schedule so much when I have work tomorrow. Um, So, we're going to try to push, though. Anyways, I'll chat with you all later. Uh -oh. Bye. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the 
It's about 9.30, so about time for me to start getting ready for bed. I did do some grass stitching today. I caught up on one of the advents, the nativity one. And like, this whole time, I was so dumb until like, a, like a few days to the end. And I kept being like, where's the nativity gonna be? And then I realized that this isn't like a face smiling. <laughs> this is gonna be Mary and Joseph with the baby in between. Oh my gosh. And these are obviously the three wise men, which it also took me a while to realize that. And um, these are gonna be animals. <laughs> How was I so dumb about that? But anyways, it might not look like a huge amount of progress, but there is 381 stitches on here and it took me quite a while to do. Um, but I am happy to have stitched again. That was really nice. I was hoping to have gotten caught up on both advents and even possibly worked on another project, but that did not happen. That's okay. <clears throat> um, I will next work on getting caught up on the other one and staying caught up on this one. I mean, I know there's only like a few days left or like a week left, I guess. Um, but yeah. Um, what are you, what are you guys doing? No, no, no. Um, yeah, you can at least try to stay caught up. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go get ready for bed. Um, maybe pick out my clothes for tomorrow and everything so that there's less to do in the morning, but, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so I didn't edit yesterday's video. I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. Um, but... <laughs> Um, it is what it is. I, I've been listening to an audiobook, so it was it's also nice to Harry Berry be able to just do that. So, oh, and I have to, I still have to sort this week's pills. I didn't do that yet. I love you. Um, anyways, so I am going to go do that. Oh, we didn't end up going to um, the outlet like we were thinking about doing um, because one, it was kind of raining. And then two, we decided that um, that I get to be let out early on um, Thursday. And so we're gonna plan to go to the deli for lunch on Thursday and then go to the outlet and we're hoping that because it is a weekday it might be a little less crowded so I mean it is close to Christmas though so may or may not be um, crowded but um, yeah I I, I um, stepped on the scale today and I've lost 10 more pounds than pre getting sick so in total, since I left the hospital, I've lost 33 pounds. Um, 
but this is also the least I've weighed in well over a decade, probably 15 years. Um, so yeah, I mean, I haven't had chips in a month. I've barely had any soda. So, um, a, a few pieces of candy, but not many. Um, so I mean, things are heading in a much better, much better direction. So that's good. Anyways, oh. I'm tired. Need to go get some sleep because tomorrow starts the last few days before uh, winter break. So I'll chat with y'all later. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Today's tea, not good. Um, I ended up just pouring mine down the drain. So <laughs> I had like four sips and it just, it wasn't nice. So anyways, that is um, that update. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.